Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back, and it is Monday. You know what that means? Another episode of Dumbest Laws in America. This is episode 24, featuring the dumb laws of Mississippi. So, let's get started. Mississippi's anti-Bloomberg bill will, will restrict towns and countries, counties, I'm sorry, from regulating nutrition labeling. Um... That is actually not a stupid bill, because I think the Bloomberg bill actually did, uh, I don't know, I don't know a fucking thing about this law, so let's just move on to the next one. If one is a parent to two illegitimate children, that person will go to jail for at least one month. Now, what does that mean? Like, two kids that this person has not claimed? is That kind of goes along with uh, not paying child support. So that one is not really stupid, it's logical. No one may bribe any athlete to rig a game, match, tournament, etc. Yeah, that is called fixing. It is illegal because people mostly do it for gambling benefits and they bet on the winner and they pay someone to like throw a boxing match or something and lose. So yeah, I can understand that one. It's not so stupid. I don't even know why it's on this list. It is illegal to watch or to teach others what Polygamy is. Polygamy is that stupid fucking religion when you have more than one wife. You have like two, three, four, five plus wives. Yeah, that is illegal. It should be one person you're married to, not many. A man may not seduce a woman by lying and claiming he will marry her. How many people actually tell... A woman that they're going to marry them just to uh, get them in the sack. I have never actually heard of this. One may be fined up to $100 for using profane language in public places. Now, doesn't that kind of constitute freedom of speech even if people don't like it? Bad language, yeah, it's out of respect that you don't say it. Finding somebody for it, though, uh, no. I don't understand. Just kick them out of your place if you don't like it. Private citizens may personally arrest any person that disturbs a church service. Does anybody actually do this in Mississippi? Do you really arrest people? Do you do a citizen's arrest on any person that would disturb a church service? Most people have respect if they're going to a church and they don't disturb the church service. So this is just a stupid law. Vagrancy is punishable by either 30 days in prison or a $250 fine. Um, okay... I guess that's some. I can't. I'm drawing a blank because I haven't had enough coffee and I can't remember what vagrancy means. So I'm just going to say sure on that one. Unnatural intercourse, if both parties voluntarily participate, results in a maximum sentence of 10 years and $10,000. Now, what exactly is unnatural intercourse? I don't know any intercourse that wouldn't be natural. Usually, if some if both parties voluntarily participate, it's natural, not unnatural. Maybe someone could explain that to me. Yeah. It is illegal for a male to be sexually aroused in public. Okay, so if you're walking down the street and you see a chick walking around, you see, you see a really attractive woman walking around in a bikini, and you get a boner, that's illegal? That is fucking stupid it's called human nature it shows that we're attracted to you you should be pleased or disgusted either way but it shouldn't be illegal cattle rustling is punishable by hanging cattle rustling what is that like disturbing cattle running into a bunch of cattle and making noise or just messing with them i don't know what cattle rustling is so moving on horses are not to be housed within 50 feet of any road well partially because uh all the horse shit stinks. I can understand that one. That makes sense to me. I drive by farms and holy shit. Well, only if it was blessed. Adultery or fornication. Living together while not married or having sex with someone that is not your spouse. Results in a fine of $500 or six months in prison. Somehow I doubt they enforce this in Mississippi. It seems like a stupid fucking law to me. And now we got three laws left. For this episode, uh, city laws in Mississippi and Ridgeland, Mississippi. It is unlawful for any person to have sex in public. 
back to the last episode, I believe. So, when I had sex in a van in my ex-girlfriend's driveway, well, technically that's in public, even though it was at nighttime and nobody could see. Uh, yeah, technically that was in public and I should have been, uh, arrested or fined. Yeah, okay, I can understand that. It's, uh, called indecent exposure. Save it for your house or apartment or whatever. Exterior burglar bars, which are viewable from the street, are not allowed. Yeah, that just kind of makes the area look, uh, shitty. If you have burglar bars on your windows, fuck the burglar bars. Get a gun. Or a bat. Or a knife or something. Someone breaks in your house, just pop them with it. In Tylertown, Mississippi, it is unlawful to shave in the center of Main Street. Now, why would you be shaving in the middle of Main Street? Shaving is usually done in your bathroom at home. Yeah. Well, I guess that's about it. This was a odd set of laws for this episode. Stay tuned for next week's episode, uh, next Monday, which is episode 25, featuring Missouri. That is actually the state where my uh, dad grew up. So, uh, that ought to be interesting to see what stupid laws come out of essentially my dad's home state I guess you could say so uh, yeah check that out please give this video a, a like thumbs it up please I greatly appreciate it it helps me out subscribe if you haven't done so already so you can catch next week's episode um, amongst all my other future videos coming up share it on Facebook Twitter the bullshit that is Google Plus yes I always say that and uh, favorite and have a good day guys